look, the fucking art museum. There it is, the fucking art museum. Art, oh! The art museum was way cooler when it wasn't all fucking modern looking. I liked it when it was just a little tiny building. Go Cab, go Travs, go Browns. I, I appreciate what you're saying, homeless guy. Maybe you should go hold your sign up in fucking Cleveland. He doesn't like Walter White, though. That's Heisenberg. I seen him. It's going to be the coldest, coldest part of my ride. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Y Bridge. They put this fence up and people still fucking jump off of it. It's a bunch of bullshit. When I was in high school, I had a friend. His name was Kevin. He jumped off this fucking bridge. And it's weird to talk about this while I'm riding my bike across this bridge, I guess. But Kevin was a good dude. Like he had he had a good heart and not really towards the end cuz like I didn't really hang out with him that much after high school, but I saw him once. And I was at a gas station, right? And I pulled up he pulled in and then I pulled in and he saw me in my car he came over and talked to me right and I had my door open and he started he was like hey man how you doing you know like normal and then it turned into like just he started saying real crazy shit about being the Omega and people inside the gas station are robots and he doesn't want to be a robot he wants to be the Omega right this is what he was saying to me I go in the gas station, right? I'm by myself in the gas station. I come back out and this dude's sitting in the driver's seat of my car with the fucking door closed. Like, he's in my car. And I don't remember fucking, you know, leaving the door open or anything. So he's sitting in my car. And I'm just like, hey man, you know, alright, I gotta go. You know, I, I, I bought whatever I came there to buy. Fucking combos or something. And, like, he wasn't, like, trying to steal my car or do anything weird. Like, he just was sitting in my car. And then he fucking got out when I was leaving. And I was like, all right, dude, like, you know, I'll see you. You know, I got to go. And I was kind of just trying to get away from him at that point because he made me really uncomfortable with all the crazy shit he was saying. But then I, I drove away and, like, the gas station was down at the bottom of a hill. I drove up to the top of the hill and, like... I had a lot of thoughts in my head about this dude because like I knew him really well in middle school I met him and then in high school like we were, we were pretty good friends right you know we hung out and fucking partied and did all kinds of stuff together and I'm sure this is the same story a lot of people have about Kevin because Kevin was pretty cool and he hung out with a lot of people you know he had he really did have a lot of friends so I get up to the top of the hill and I just I'm thinking about all this different shit you know and I'm like, I should go back, and I should fucking talk to him. I should try to help him, you know? Because, like... And I've... Honestly, I'm not that kind of person. Like, I'm not... I'm not... At least not anymore. I don't know. But I'm not really, like, the kind of person who's like, Oh, you know, you're, you're having problems. I want to help you. Because, like, a lot of times, really, now, as an adult, I'm like, you're having problems, and you stay the fuck away from me and my family. So, you know, I guess that's kind of where I've changed as an adult. But at this point in time, I think I was, like, 20, 21, something like that. But I, I fucking turned around and I drove back down to the gas station. And when I got down to the bottom of the hill, his car was gone. And I felt really bad about it. I was like, fuck, dude. Like, I really wish I could find him just so I could talk to him. Because, like, I don't know who the fuck he's hanging out with. But I know, like, he was hanging out with some fucked up people. And, you know, I felt like if I could have just talked to him and, like, maybe brought him back down to earth a little bit, it would have fucking helped him, you know? And then, like, a couple weeks later, uh, he fucking jumped off the Y Bridge. And, like, I heard about the shit, and yeah, I went to his fucking funeral. And, like, this was, like, the first time that, like, somebody that I considered... Because he wasn't really a close friend anymore, but, like, in high school, he was somebody I hung out with on a semi-regular basis. And, I mean, like, you know, we were cool. You know, we hung out outside of school and all that bullshit. So, like, I was pretty cool with him. And that's the first time that, like... Someone who was, like, not a family member died, and I like, went to their funeral. And just to die in that way, to jump off a bridge like that, like, and I heard all kinds of crazy fucked up stories about, you know, after he died and blah, blah, blah. And I don't know. It's a lot of fucked up shit to hear about somebody that, like, you were friends with. And, you know, you're not, like, being 20 years old, you know, you're, you're, you understand death. But, like, you're kind of at the point... Because, really, my entire life, I've always questioned, like, 
what happens after you die. I'm not the most religious person in the world. And like, I believe, you know, I believe there's more, but I question it immensely. And I do, and I mean, I don't really think that that's a bad thing. I think blind faith is fucking terrible. I think you should, you know, you should have a reason for believing what you believe, and not just because it's something that, you know, they put in a book and then they throw it at you every Sunday. You need a reason for your beliefs. You need a personal reason for your beliefs. And for some people, their family's good enough, but... I don't know. I'm not really from the most religious family either, so... I'll leave that at that, though. But So I go to his funeral. I saw a bunch of people from high school that I knew. And it was really weird, because it was like I wasn't, you know... I wasn't really trying to talk to anybody. Like, I, I went. I seen him there in a fucking box. It was open casket, amazingly. So I saw him. Didn't fucking look like him. And, like, I don't know, dude. It was just really weird. And I went with I went with somebody who knew him. I went with a girl who knew him as well. And like I don't know, it was just like it was really fucking sad. And like I, I don't know, dude. It was just it was weird. It was just a weird like because I didn't feel like you know it just didn't feel real to me. I guess. And like I had other other people I knew had died like throughout high school and, and after high school. But I never went to their funerals, because it was always like, it was always like people I was more acquainted with, you know? So, I don't know. That was just weird. I guess I should probably stop speeding, I am in the falls now. Ah, shit. 